Okay, the next video on our guide series, uh, once again, we're going to go to our summarizing our data. And let's move over to question two. All right, so this one is with regard to another uh, type of data. So let's go ahead and let's copy this into our commander. So I'm going to go ahead and click on data. I'm going to copy this guy. Let's copy and let's import it into our commander. So just remember, since I copied it, it's going to come from my clipboard, from the tabs. I want to click OK. Um, this pop-up box just asked if I want to overwrite data set. So I had already had data in there. Uh, as long as you know that you're overwriting your data, it's OK. And so I'm going to click Yes. And now I've got this political uh, affiliation is my uh, data. Okay, so what I want to see is I want to see just a quick little summary. So let's go to our basic statistics, descriptive statistics, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on just as frequency distributions from our qualitative variables. So, and I've got political affiliation, and I'm going to click on it, and let's go ahead and click OK. Okay, now when we see this, we see that we've got extremely, extremely liberal, liberal, moderate, conservative, and extremely conservative. Okay, so the question is, is does this have a natural order to it or is it kind of nominal? Now this one I would argue is that it has an order to it. We went from extremely liberal to extremely conservative and went steps at either as we went this direction, we got more conservative or if we went this direction, we got more liberal. All right, so because of that, our data is in fact ordinal, and this is not entirely correct. Because remember from our previous videos, we know that our commander does not automatically um, know if categorical data is ordinal. We have to tell it that. So what we can do is we can go to our basic statistics, we can go to our data, manage the variables, and we can change the variable type. So now I can click on our political affiliation. We can make it ordinal and I can click OK. All right, and let's see if it works. So I will go to the descriptive statistics, the frequency, click on the political affiliation and click OK. And here we go. Now I've got my ordinal, uh, my ordinal frequency table. But that's not exactly what I want. I really want like an ordinal box plot. And that's not hard to do at all. So what we can do here is we can go to graphs, go all the way down to bar graph, sometimes it's called the bar chart, either one. And we need to click on the political affiliation. And we can go look at the options. This gives us a lot of ability to change the labels and things. We're going to stick with the defaults for right now. If we need to come back and adjust them, we can. And we'll just go ahead and click OK. So when we do that, we get a box plot that looks something like this. Now notice how like I don't have all my labels here. Uh, all it is is that we just need to stretch this guy out maybe a little bit more and there we go I got all of my labels uh, there now. Okay the big thing that we're missing here is a title like all graphics really should have a title so let's go ahead and fix that. And I mean yeah so we will go and we'll go back to graphs bar graph same thing. We'll give it a title and we'll give this like um, survey response on politics. Okay, and now I've got a title on it. Okay, so we've got this one and we know from talking that we have ordinal data. And ordinal, remember, is always a type of categorical data. So we can go ahead and click on that guy. Scrolling down, we need to find the one that looks correct. Now, if you notice, you see that we only had numbers down here. That's because that for the program that these are two different programs that make these graphics and the text just could not fit. But it's handy because we can match the one to one, the two to two, the three to three. And so we know that uh, what the labels actually are for each of these. All right, so if we scroll on down, scroll on down, and we notice, hey, this is the one that looks almost exactly like this guy. We've got the extremely liberal, and we've got the moderate, 
Now, one thing you might say, though, is that, hold on a second, this one has frequency and this one just has a bunch of decimals. And that's because box plots can be, or it's not box plots, bar charts uh, can be done in a couple different ways. So this is where we're doing it with frequency. Uh, let's go ahead and do it with relative frequency or with percentages. So let's go to graphs. We'll go back to our bar graph and we'll go to our options. So you see here how it has the frequency counts. If we go and click on percentages, so when we look at our at our frequency table, the y-axis when we first did it was like our first column, the ni, and now we're going to make the y-axis fi, or our relative frequency. And let's go ahead and bring this guy back. So this is in percentages. Uh, it could be done at like 0 0.05 like it is over here, but we now have, oops, sorry about that. We now have it as the same, so we look at this 25 and 25. Now it matches up uh, with each other very nicely, so we can go ahead and click on this guy that we know that this is the box, or sorry, bar ch chart that correctly represents uh, the data that we have been given. All right, so let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Now we have this question of which frequency table is most appropriate. So we need to look at these two and see what's the difference. And the big difference between the two is that this first one doesn't have the cumulative frequency and the cumulative relative frequency. And we know that with categorical data, sometimes you need the, these cumulative columns and sometimes you don't. And the times when we need them is when we have ordinal data. And the times when we don't need them is when we have nominal data. So when we come back here and we said, hey, we have ordinal data. So if we have ordinal data, then we have these cumulative ones. We actually need these cumulative guys. And the reason is, is let me show you, I can show you um, how you can check. So over here at the cumulative relative frequency, I can say, what are the percent of people who were liberal or more liberal, right? Going down here, or I could say, what percent of people were moderate or liberal, um, or moderate or less, and less would be like more liberal. So it actually makes sense for them to include these cumulative relative frequencies. And so we can go ahead and click submit, and we nailed it. So that's it, that's how we handle our uh, bar charts.